Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So as I'm sure a lot of you have already heard, YouTube has for some reason decided to remove the dislike counter feature. So no longer can you go onto a video and see the amount of likes to dislikes. Interestingly enough, they have decided to leave the likes counter in place, but I feel that this doesn't help anyone. Um, you could have, yeah, sure, you could have 2,000 likes on your video, but you could also have 10,000 dislikes. So this really helps no one. And in turn, the community is a bit conflicted and in disagreement. And I got to say, I agree with users of YouTube right now. Um, it, it makes no sense. You know, if you're looking up a how-to video or hell, say you're looking up how to make a fettuccine pasta or something like that, anything tutorial based. If a, if a video in the past had a mass amount of dislikes, you're probably not going to sit there and watch the video. And YouTube knows this. I feel strongly that they do, but they state that their reason for doing so is because smaller content creators have been getting quote unquote attacked by people in forms of massive dislikes. But the interesting thing is by taking away the dislike, there is still the comment section and Anyone who uses the internet knows that the internet is a pretty toxic place. So you're way more likely to find offensive things in the comments section than you are to see a massive downvote on someone's video. But not only that, I feel that the dislike button could only ever serve its purpose. If you, as a viewer, didn't like my content, you could either like or dislike it. It's a freedom of your opinion. So with the removal of that, I can no longer see if the content I'm putting out is getting disliked or favorably liked and neither can any of my viewers. Well, technically there is a way for content creators to see the amount of dislikes that they have still, but it's not open to the public. So this helps no one. Um, it's just a matter of, I feel YouTube potentially profiting more off of people sticking on videos. So if they remove the dis the dislike bar in this scenario, you, you have people who will search for those videos on how to's and whatnot. And now they can only see the likes. So maybe they'll still pull up a video that had a thousand likes, but it could have 10,000 dislikes. They won't see that. YouTube knows they want you to stay on that video because in turn it causes you to spend more time on the YouTube platform. And at the end of the day, YouTube profits from that. And I understand YouTube is a business. A business has to profit. But I feel like they've gone about it in the wrong way. And I know a lot of other people would agree with me in the same regard. But uh, who's to say if they'll bring it back or not? I don't know. But how do you feel down in the comments? Do you think that YouTube removing the dislike counter was a good decision or do you feel that youtube should bring it back and as always if you like this video go ahead and leave a like and i'm sorry to say um, youtube has taken away your privilege to publicly show your dislike on video so uh, it just makes no sense anyways killing air out